Hello YouTube, this is Alex from Bimos and um, yeah. in front of us we have a Sony Vaio the small kind so it's a VGP-BPL19 uh, and uh, it came uh, a while ago to us with a hinge uh, problem <laughs> we were calling it exploding hinge at that point in time so the problem was um, really uh, simple so it was the uh, the screws that were unscrewing because of the mechanical um, stress on the uh, on the hinge uh, but now um, it came in because it fell and luckily this has a solid state hard drive so that's not going to be an issue for the hard drive but uh, it was charging while it um, fell and um, this broke actually it didn't really broke uh, break um, the idea is that this is a small component it's just where the uh, charger uh, comes in and you can break this easily by uh, tripping over the charger wire uh, letting the <laughs> computer uh, smash uh, on the floor with the uh, connector on so the connector will go in while it's inside here will go and it will destroy one of the contracts either the pin either the the other side um, the the minus as you call as we would say uh, and also it can uh, this is fortunate because it is a part but some of these yellow thing is they are welded on the motherboard so if they're on the motherboard and they go like then it will destroy the contacts because uh, fortunately here we have wires so that's that's okay but uh, usually uh, you don't have wires so uh, another um, motherboards um, you have issues um, if if uh, if you receive a shock on on this uh, this connector let me show you why is the the others are just just in order for you to picture it sorry so it's it's basically uh, this is the connector. Sorry, I have no nobody to hang in, <laughs> hang on to the camera. So you see, good. But there are times where nothing is broken really. So um, this is what I'm going to uh, present to you right now because I just want to kind of show people what they can do themselves uh, instead of going to shops like us and uh, get. Uh, uh, and have to pay, uh, pay stuff up. Okay, good, good. <clears throat> so, um, f f f on this example here, what happened is that the connector went, went like that. You know, just trying to picture. And if you picture the connector inside this, going like that, there are two things as I mentioned before that can happen. One is the pin but that will not really break because um, it, it can't because there's enough uh, for enough space usually it's enough space for it to, to kind of um, be cool about it but the stress goes mainly into this side uh, how do you call it, foil, like that, that goes and touch the minus side. So the minus side. Okay, because it has to be always touched to it. And when the pin goes like, and it comes back, so the, the foil or the, 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 the I tend to say it's like the contact, it just goes to the side and never comes back. Actually, it bends inside and never comes back. And that's the problem, because if you put the charger after the fall, the, 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 the pin, the plus, will be contact, but the minus never there. I can't really, you know, focus here, but if you see, this went to the side and it's just there. It doesn't touch anymore. Um, what you can do is you can try to bend it back from the end here with a, with a needle, but usually you have to take it apart and from the other side from here you can really you have space to put it back together uh, back uh, back on track again because if you use this 
you might uh, break it because there's no edge to 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 hang on to it. From this side, it ends up here. So there are two separate things. You just pull one towards the middle, and it will be okay. So that's what you can do to save yourself, uh, I know, hundred bucks of uh, repairs, <laughs> easy. Huh? Okay, that, that's that's my deal. I mean, there are different scenarios uh, on how you can break this, and then uh, <laughs> people just get weirder and, and weirder uh, on on breaking this stuff. Uh, sometimes they push the computer towards the the wall, <laughs> and if you have a charger in the back side, it'll, it'll go like that. Uh, so you know, you name it, uh, kids, uh, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Thank you, kids. You're doing a great job uh, for me. Um, and so that will be one of the most. Sometimes uh, this will break. The connector will break inside. And um, usually you can reach with a needle as well. And then because there are two things that are like that inside here for the pin only. Huh? Two things like that. And and sometimes they go like that. And then when when the connector enters, it doesn't touch the pin anymore so it doesn't charge so it's basically what you do you take a, a, a needle and then you pull on them so they bring together again when you bring them together you have two options either it, when you try to put it inside here it doesn't go don't force it okay if you force it you'll break it okay so you, that means that you pull them too close uh, and then if if you feel a certain tension and but you feel that goes it goes in. Oops, sorry, I speak a little bit uh, weird. But anyway, if you feel a little bit of tension, but you still feel that there's a certain you know. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. I'm thinking of weird stuff, man. But anyway, uh, if you feel there's a little bit of tension, uh, that's good because that's when you, it, there's a strong connection uh, between the the, the 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 pin inside this and then the. the well, they do two two things, huh? and then that's when that's when it's good. So that's what you are looking for. And that's a strong contact indication of the strong contact. If you do that and it still doesn't work, then it's inside. So you have to you know kind of get this part or whatever, and then fix this part. It's not the the the, the power side. Okay. Good, good. Hope you got some some of the insights. Um, you know, if you're feeling techy, you know, just go ahead. It's not a very difficult repair. The difficulty is how to take this um, laptop apart. Unfortunately, this one is like eight screws and that's it. But uh, some of them <laughs> they can go to 40, 45, and uh, also you have to open more than uh, just one uh, lid. But um, you know, before you do that. Uh, Google or uh, YouTube the uh, the video. Try to look up for a video on your model, and then understand how these things. Count your screws. Kind of make a template of how things are arranged. Uh, make photographs and stuff like that. So uh, for me, it's kind of a routine stuff because I open most of the models, and they they have a certain way of putting them together. So I understand that, and that's it. I just follow my 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 uh, experience. But for you, that would be good to have a template and then to push, not to lose screws. So, um, not to lose. A, and while you're in there, you can clean this. Um, you know, it's always good because there's always dust here. So, you know, that's a good tip as well. Um, yeah, and dust is never a good thing. So, if you have a air can, spray it uh, with air, <laughs> not with water. Okay, good, good. Hope to see you uh, on my channel uh, again. Uh, subscribe uh, if you want to get more insights of how to fix this technology that drives us nuts. And uh, yeah, thumbs up and comments if you have comments. Okay, thanks. Bye bye.